show and tell using touch designer okay so this is the full network behind this little drawing tool that i'll demo right away so as you can see you have some color picking or color picker down here so let's first start off with white i can just start drawing i can move everything to the side and keep adding 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 it's basically an infinite canvas so i can zoom in i can zoom out to get some overview um, that's about it for the drawing i can of course um, pick a different color make it red make it whatever i want even if i switch to different colors and i'm not able to pick the exact same color let's say i want to explain anything or something um, but i'm not able to match this green color over here so then uh, what i added is like a color picker from the canvas itself so therefore if you hit Control alt shift you will see that the color is being picked from the stuff that's all already drawn so if i move over this green line i'm able to replicate this color if i move over the yellowish uh, the bluish line uh, not color blind but still um, so i can quickly sample my uh, canvas itself or i can pick down uh, below in order to add some new colors and quickly switch to the color that i need so that's basically for the drawing um, next up i already showed zooming uh, which is quite nice you can add some more finer details when zooming in when zooming out the detail will be hidden but you get an overview which can be nice uh, but that's enough for the drawing let's hit Control shift w which removes everything let's go back to 50 percent zoom which you can also see in the right bottom corner so the next thing i want to show um, and for this one i'll use a red color um, matching the color for the bar on top so here you have an append um text what is this a pen text like okay if i switch back to the left with the slider this disappears but if it's all the way to the right it says append so let's show you what this is all about so if i just draw four simple lines move them to the center um, i can show you what this append is because when i move this back you can see that i can rewind or unwind and redo my lines um, making them like an animated sequence um, and because the slider was always to the right when drawing a line and a next line and a next line they will be animated one behind the other so therefore i'm actually creating and or enlarging a timeline so if i add another line and another line while being all the way to the right my timeline is increasing and increasing and increasing and all for each new line will be added at one after the other so that's one thing which can be nice just to show how you drew something but um, let's say if i want to add some extra context to the first line um, in this um, stage or this mode um, i'm not able to do so i'm only able to add all the way to the end of the timeline so therefore if i move it a little bit back or all the way to the beginning i can actually start setting in and out points so let's move left shift i for an in point and uh, let's say shift o for an out point and also move to another color just to demonstrate like green and now because i'm at in point to out point and i'm not all the way at the right where the appending will happen but if i'm just slightly left from all the way to the right um, and my um, timeline slider is uh, highlighting green i know that i'm in the parallel drawing mode let's say 
and this allows me to draw in parallel of my current timeline so not at the end of the timeline but in parallel of the greens in out section so if i now draw something like this and move back you'll actually see that indeed the green line was added in parallel of the already existing timeline and that's exactly what i wanted i wanted to add some um, time-based um, information for these two red lines which i was able to do by setting an endpoint and out point let's do the same for the last two lines so move here shift i for an endpoint and all the way back shift o for an i, I out point sorry if i slightly move back i get out of append mode but i enter in the parallel drawing mode so i know that i'll be drawing in parallel of these red two final lines that i already drew so if i now draw again something like this the green line will be drawn in parallel to the red ones which is nice this is what we want and based on these things we can easily create a drawing add some more details to some earlier lines um, so that's a nice tool which i'm i've been able to use um, for creating some um, informational context or some some aiding tutorial sketches so that's something nice uh, but this this is not all so um what else i need to show you uh, let's see um pum, pum, pum. maybe i'll also show you like a small part of the network so this um dot um is actually named stages so what are those stages let's say if i go all the way back and hit shift s you'll see one stage is added if i move a bit further i can say okay let's make this stage two again shift s again shift s over here shift s again and shift s all the way at the end so now you, you see that my stages have been stored and if i now move to this out of the staging mode but to perform mode the timeline will be hidden and you will move all the way to the beginning of the timeline and if you now use the four and the six keys so on the numeric keypad it's quite easy i suggest you use this one because i'll also be using some additional keys on the numeric keypad but anyway um, i'm in perform mode moved out of staging so back in perform um, if i now use six I can just cycle through all of the, the saved keyframes or stages or point of interest, whatever you want to call it. So now I can just one by one show you what I want to show you and only show you this line, this part of the, of the schematic, which I've drawn. drawn. Um, so I can reveal part by part of the, the schematic I, I've drawn. So that's something very nice, I think um but again we want more of course um because you want some yeah you want to explain what what's happening or what each line means so therefore i added one extra little thing um so remember that i've uh, have like several stages for each of those stages i've also created automatically a placeholder for some voiceover so now if you, if you were in the first stage or let's uh, reveal the first line so now we see the first line um, i can start recording a voiceover for this line explaining what this line is all about whatever so when we go in the first placeholder for the first voiceover you can see that if i use key 5 on the numeric keypad I'll start recording something and here you see it so it will fade in and slowly fade out so no clicks should be um, played when playing this back so if I use 4 to go back 
and now six again recording something and here you see it you hear that it will automatically start playing this recording so now i can use zero to clear this first voiceover out so zero and it's cleared out so i can just start recording um first line second line third line fourth line so let's do this so first line here we go first line next we go to the second line and we do the same i'll go level up so you can see all recordings being made so we are in the second part when i record second line you'll see it being recorded in this second voice over placeholder so here we go second line and for the third line third line and finally for the fourth line um finally fourth line so there you go we have four voiceovers for each stage or section or keyframe or point of interest whatever you like to call it but we have four voiceovers they're bundled via a merge and depending on which which state which stage i've selected um, this select chop will select the relevant um, audio file or audio recording voiceover and it will start playing it back so finally when i've drawn something i've recorded some voiceovers i can finally still record it record it at my own pace so if i go back and i hit record uh, you'll see that yeah I, I can just cycle through all the stages let the drawing be drawn or whatever and be yeah, and let the, the voiceover be played out and this all will be recorded so let's do this hit record first line second line third line finally fourth line okay and stop recording let's close this down uh, now go into my files and you'll see a new one is added here so if i just play it first line second line third line finally fourth line in the next tutorial we first start off by adding a container comp so that inside we can add a panel chop in order to record or obtain the uv coordinates which we can record inside of a trail chop next we add a select channel to drive the replication of a trail chop so that each new line can have its own uh, recording of position data so when drawing our first vertical line select channel becomes active it will trigger the replicator in order to create a new copy of a trail chop that contains the stroke details for this first line on our second line the select channel will become active for a second time meaning the replicator gets triggered again so it creates another copy of the trail chop so that the second line can have its own copy of the stroke details again for the third line and for the fourth line and finally for the fifth line all these lines will be merged together automatically and fed into a rendering network that takes care of the representation of all the lines so this is what I'll be building in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.